D Goldsmith on Instagram wants to know if Teresa apologized, would you ever consider being her friend again? Apparently, I think she said that uh, she would have a drink with you if she were ever in Vegas. Oh, okay. Um, it's not something I think about. Um, I, it's hard. Teresa never really forgives when she thinks that someone's hurt her or whatever. I don't know how many times we've had this sit down where it's like, let's put the past behind us. Let's whatever. And then something happens where it just, I don't know what she thinks I did to her. Um, because she's said things that she knows aren't true, Yeah. But, you know, to, because she's angry with me. So she's trying to, you know, say things that I did or whatever that aren't true. The real reason why that Teresa and I fell off was because of my relationship with Melissa when she came on the show, because she, what Teresa was hoping I'd be a loyal friend. I'd go against Melissa. I'd have her back a hundred percent. But I'm a very fair person. And when Melissa came on the show, I, you know, Melissa's telling me in what in my ear, tell me all these things Teresa's doing to her, did to her. And then I have I see Teresa actually kind of doing some calculating things to Melissa also. Um, I think they were both now looking back, I think they were both trying to manipulate me, but I'm a very open-minded person. So if I see Teresa doing something wrong, I'm gonna tell her I think you're doing something wrong. And she doesn't like to hear that. So yeah. she takes it like I'm against her, but I, I loved her. Like I wouldn't, I was not against her. I was just trying to tell her that her, the way she was reacting or doing certain things wasn't the right way to handle it or whatever. Um, but I could feel her pulling away from me when that happened. We, our relationship started falling apart when Melissa came on the show. That's when she, she was acting different to me off camera things were changing. It was just a whole different dynamic between us. And it never got back to normal. And, you know, even the California scene, remember we made up in the RV and, yeah. we're hugging and it was all cute. Um, so I left that scene. Okay. Later on that night, she was in their RV, whatever we were done filming there. Her RV was open. She, I was going over there. She was in there with talking to the producers. I think Melissa was in there. And I hear her saying how she hates my fucking guts mm. after we just hugged and made up. And now, so there was like a week left of filming after that. And so I'm like, do I address this on camera that I overheard her and make it part of the story? Or do I just like play the game, forget, like I heard anything, which you can see after that. Remember I had gone in there and I curled her hair and I was yeah. very quiet because I knew it was fake. Like I knew she hated me. And I was like, I'm not getting involved in this anymore. I don't care. I'm not doing the show after this. Like I had already said, like, I'm not doing the show after this. Cause I was, that was also the height of Nick's regression. Yeah. Like things were, they were trying to catch little things on camera with Nick's little idi idiosyncrasies. It was pissing me off. Yeah. So I was like done with the show anyway. So I'm like, I'm just going to play this out and I'm done. I'm done with the show. So I was very hurt by that because I was sincere in making up with her and she wasn't sincere in making up. And at that time she still hated Melissa too. And they were acting like they were, had rejoined and it was just, the whole thing was became fake to me. And I was just turned off by all of it. What uh, I know she has a new boyfriend. She's now dating this Louie guy and she seems very happy. It was interesting at the reunion though, Andy asked her about her relationship with Joe. And last season we saw that she opened up about um, talking about how she knew she had to leave him and she believed that he had been unfaithful to her. She says that she's only slept with Louie since dating Joe Gorga. Do you think that that's true? Or do you think that there may be some... Yeah. Listen, people talk. Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't in her bedroom. Yeah. I have heard she was with other people. Um, but I don't, I wasn't there to witness any of it or talk to her. I'm not her friend. I don't yeah. know these things. You know what I mean? Um, but like you were saying before, like I never say never. If someone wants to make things better, I'll make things better. Will we ever be like we were? She lives there. I live here. If she comes to Vegas and we put the past behind us at, sincerely and she wants to like party have a good time i'm your girl are we going to be like we were before i don't think she'll ever be that way with me because you know just to finish answering your question but um i'm i i am 
happy to see that she, it, she seems like she's in love with this guy. And I don't think she's ever been treated like that and knows really what luck. Cause you know, she kind of grew up with Joe's kind of like a brother's right. sister type relationship. Like, I think this is a different type of, you know, she didn't really have the chance to date around much before Joe. So I think now she's kind of like living her life and she found this guy that she's connecting with and, and she's just, you know, glowing with that. I think, I, you know, I'm happy that she's seeing what love can be like, yeah, you know, for sure.